New polls out on whether President Obama is worse than George W. Bush in terms of looking out for our civil liberties. Well, we're going to get to that in a second, but first, uh, polls on droning overall. Now, people are still uh, in favor of droning by a significant margin. When the question is asked this way, do you agree with the use of unmanned drones to kill people in foreign countries whom the U.S. government says are terrorists and present an imminent threat? 65% still say we support it, 19% say we oppose. Uh, now, that is a terrible number, but the upside is uh, last week it was 83%. And when you ask question in a different way, the number gets even lower. When you ask, should it be legal for the U.S. government to kill non-U.S. citizens who meet that description? Now, it's one thing when we do it, are you in favor of doing it? Now, should it be legal? 53% say yes and 21% say no. Now, those numbers, again, are not that encouraging, obviously. They're pretty bad overall, but at least, you know, the numbers are improving. Like I said, that number seemed to be in the ballpark of about 83% just last week. Now, here's another number that's slightly encouraging. It should be legal for the U.S. government to kill American citizens who it believes are terrorists and present an imminent threat. So this is specifically about U.S. citizens. Now, all of a sudden, that number, which last week was 65%, is down to 44 percent and now 31 percent disagree okay so they are basically saying eh, okay okay yeah US citizens as long as you say they're terrorists but now I'm beginning to waver on that Republicans beginning to waver and Democrats are beginning to waver so you know we were hopeful that we could educate people to what was actually happening with drones that is beginning I don't think any of those folks not any but a lot of them a great majority of them don't even know about the signature strikes and the double taps, right? Where we kill the first responders and we kill the people who we don't know who they are, right? So uh, now, when you get to the question is, is Obama any better than George W. Bush on balancing civil liberties and national security? Some surprising answers there. 44% say better in, in that balance. 37% say worse. And 15% say about the same. So when you total the last two categories, worse or the same, it's actually 52%, that's the majority, that say Obama is either worse or the same as Bush in civil liberties. And by the way, that's true. Now you can make a claim that that 44% say, say for he ended torture. Now there's some loopholes there in the extraordinary rendition program, but let's grant him that, right? But he's certainly worse than Bush in the drone uh, strikes against U.S. citizens and other drone strikes that I just mentioned. So it is a toss-up. And that's unfortunate. Now, here are numbers that don't seem large, but that I am encouraged by. When asked, the Obama administration has not improved under Bush's record, 21% of Democrats agree and 23% of liberals do. So we're talking about 20 to 25%, obviously, of people on our side, progressives, liberals, Democrats, however you want to characterize it, saying, hey, you know what? Even though Obama's doing it, I'm not in favor of it. And I think Obama has been worse than Bush. Look, it might seem like a small percentage to you, but believe me that that number was much smaller on questioning Obama a year ago, certainly two years ago. So now we've at least woken up anywhere between, you know, a fifth to a quarter of people on our side going, hey, this doesn't make sense. And I'm telling you, that number will only grow because President Obama is violating our civil liberties on a massive scale.